In this video, Tim is going to show you how you can merge multiple different images into one long PDF document. This works on any computer, you don't need to install anything, and it will work with basically any images you might have. So they can be JPEG or PNG or anything like that. All you need to do is open up any web browser. Timmy's using Google Chrome, but you could use Firefox, Microsoft Edge, Safari, anything you want. And then go to image2pdf.com and pull up that website here. And now you do have to be a bit careful when visiting these websites sometimes. Right now, all the ads are perfectly innocent ads for Google things. But sometimes you will get kind of scammy ads that have a button that will try to trick you into clicking that button to download software you don't need or pay for something you don't need or something. So you want to be careful and make sure you're not actually clicking on an ad because sometimes the button will actually say download files or convert files or something and look like it belongs on the website, but it doesn't. So just be careful and make sure you only click on the buttons to me actually clicks on. So what we need to do is scroll down here to where we can add files and then either drag and drop the images in here or click this upload files button here. So make sure it's the one that says upload files there and it's next to clear queue and everything and it's blue looks like that. So go ahead and click that button and now this will look a bit different depending on what computer you have. Timmy's on a Chromebook. If you're on a Mac computer or a Windows computer, the Files app will look a bit different, but it'll pull up the Files app for your computer. And you'll basically just need to select the images you want to upload. So Timmy's images are in the downloads folder. So Timmy will go in there, but you'll just need to go into whatever folder your images are in, wherever they may be on your computer. And then once you've found your images, you'll need to select all the ones that you want to add to this PDF. So the easiest way to do that is to hold down the control key on a Chromebook or a Windows computer, or the command key on a Mac will do the same thing. And then while you're still holding that key down, just click on any of the images you want to select. So to me, it's actually going to select all of these. You might select just a few specific ones that you want, but you just need to select all the images that you want to add to the PDF. You can do as many as 20. And then once you've selected them all like that, you can let go of the key. And now you need to click this button on the files app on your computer. It's different on different computers. On this one, it says open on Mac or windows. It might say select or something but there'll be some button in this corner and you'll need to click that. And now all the files will start uploading to the website. And if you've selected 20 fairly large images, this could take a little while, but it really shouldn't take too long. As you can see, Timmy's first one's done, second one's almost finished. So they're going along fairly quickly. So we just need to wait for all of those to upload and convert to PDFs which they all have done now. And now if you wanted to download each image individually as a one page PDF, you could actually click the download button there and just specifically download that one image as a PDF. But if you want to download all of these images in one big long PDF, you can click this button down here that says combined. But before you go ahead and do that, you might want to take a look at the order they're in. So the image here, image number one will be page one of the PDF. Then we'll have page two over here and three and so on. So if you're happy with this order, you can leave it exactly like this and click combined. But if you want to change it a bit, you can simply click and drag to rearrange the pages. So maybe we'll go this one, then this one, and maybe this one, then these two. So you can arrange it however you want, if you need to arrange it. 
And if you have more than five images, you can click these arrow buttons to scroll through and see the other images to make sure they're arranged nicely. But then, once you're happy with the order and everything, you can go ahead and click Combined here. And now, it will begin downloading all these images as one big long PDF. So, we can see the download progress here, and again, on different computers and in different browsers, that will look a bit different, but it'll download your, all your images as a PDF, and now that's complete, as we can see here. So now, you can pull up the Files app of your computer, and you'll most likely go into the Downloads folder, as you can see, Timmy's in Downloads here, and you should see image to pdf, .pdf. And this will be a PDF of all your images. So if we double click on it to open it up, we can see that's page one and page two down here. And we have this image and the next image. So you can just scroll through your PDF and you'll see all your images in here as one big long PDF like that. And that's all there is to it. We now have one big long PDF of all these images. So now you can rename the PDF and move it places and send it to someone, upload it somewhere, do whatever you need to do with it. But you now have all your images converted into one PDF. So hopefully you found this video helpful and Tamil see you in the next one.